When I think of Edie, I think of that line from a Midsummer Night's Dream. And though she be but little, she is fierce. She was fierce. She helped change hearts and minds, including mine. She refused to give up on the promise of America. There wasn't a cynical, defeatist bone in her body. Through her determination and sheer force of will, she brought us another step closer to that more perfect union. It is up to all of us to pick up where she left off. We really owe it to her to ensure, as I've said before, that gay rights are human rights, and human rights are gay rights now and forever. It's easy to grow weary fighting these fights. But remember Edie Windsor, who took on and won against the US government. She pushed us all to be better, stand taller, dream bigger. Because of her, people came out, marched in their first pride parade, married the love of their life. So thank you, Edie. Thank you for being a beacon of hope, for proving that love is more powerful than hate, for filling us with a sense of possibility and promise as we answer the question posed by Mary Oliver, tell me what it is you plan to do with your own one wild and precious life. Let us continue to be inspired by Edie's wild and precious life. And let us make her proud every day of how we answer that question for ourselves. Thank you, Edie.